Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I am Nurul Najwa from Polytechnic Melibau and today I am going to talk about satellite communication system and also about the ionospheric scintillation which has certain impacts on the satellite signals. And we are also going to do a little investigation on some of the impacts that has been proven in reducing the effectiveness of the system. Satellites have been with humans for many years now. The first satellite is the Sputnik 1 which was launched in 1957. So it has been a total of 59 years already that the satellites have been among us. According to the data from the Union of Concerned Scientists, until 31st December 2015, there are a total of 1,381 satellites currently orbiting our Earth right now. Just imagine how it all crammed up there. Those satellites are actually positioned above the Earth's surface, known as the satellite's orbit. We have different types of satellite's orbit and all satellites are located in their respective orbits. Some of the satellites are just sitting in their position and some of them are moving around the Earth and doing everything that they are intended to do. And of course, not all satellites are used for the same purposes. For example, some of the satellites are used for weather forecasting, some are used for scientific purposes, some are used for taking pictures, and last but not least is the navigation system or the GPS, which we will come back to that later. For the satellite to communicate with the Earth's station, the wave must effectively penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and heading directly to the ground satellite receiver. Now, this is the most challenging part. It is always somebody's job to make sure that the satellite signals arrive safely to the receiver with minimum error or with no error at all. There are lots of reasons for a satellite signal to become degraded. If it is because of the hardware impairments, then we can send somebody to repair it. If it is because of the error in the data, then we can put someone to reprogram the algorithm. But if it is because of the nature, then we could not do much because the nature is in the hand of God, not human. And all we can do is to understand the effect it causes to the satellite signal and and reproduce or redesign our system to at least match the problems. The nature that I am talking about is the Earth atmosphere, which is widely known as the ionospheric layer. The term ionospheric layer is very popular in the field of satellite communication system. This ionospheric layer is elongated from 50 kilometers until 600 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Tremendous research activities have been done and all research showed that the ionospheric layer has some sort of negative impacts to the satellite signals. Now, this is the interesting part. The ionospheric layer has different characteristics between daytime and nighttime. These drastic changes are called as the ionospheric irregularities. These irregularities are responsible for the absorption of the high-frequency radio waves which are used by the satellite system. Absorption means that when the wave travels through the layer, it causes vibration and some of the wave energy is taken away which will certainly attenuate the signal strength. So when this happens, the energy that the wave is supposed to have to carry the signals all the way to the receiver may not arrive in full capacity. This explains why some data we got from the satellite satellite is not accurate and contains full of noise or unwanted signals. When a satellite wave is drastically changing from its original behavior while propagating through these irregularities, it is called the ionospheric scintillation. Now that's the magic word, scintillation. Scintillation is a rapid fluctuation of radio frequency signal in phase and in amplitude. These fluctuations are generated as the signal passes through the ionospheric layer. Ionospheric layer is a very dispersive medium. Dispersive means that it can bend the signals and changes its speeds as the signal travel passes through the layer before it can reach the receivers. These occurrences are called as the ionospheric delay. The bending of the signals and the changing in the propagation speed has caused significant error in all application of satellite communication system. 
signals propagate through ionospheric layer will be bent towards different direction an effect known as diffraction diffraction causes the satellite signal to experience signal delay and signal fading before it reaches to the ground satellite receiver which contribute to signal inaccuracy and data loss let us look into one of the satellite's application. GPS or the Global Positioning System is one of the most popular applications of the satellite communication system. GPS is made up of 24 satellites orbiting the Earth where it works in any weather condition, anywhere, everywhere in this world 24 hours a day. Most of us thought that GPS is just an application to search for some unknown places. For instance, I want to go to this place but I really don't know how to get here from here. And hey, maybe I will just use my GPS to help me search the best route to get there. This is a common situation. We just use GPS to show us the best way or the shortest way to go to some places. But in reality, GPS is also used in agriculture, in aviation, in environment data collection in timing, in mapping, in outdoor activities and the list go on and on. GPS has huge influences in our lives and without the satellite communication system, this may not happen and it is an essential task to make sure that the satellite signal is received in the most perfect condition. Essentially, GPS satellites transmit signal to the receivers on Earth, which is your device. GPS receivers then compare the time the signal was transmitted to the time it was received. Well, the time difference tells the GPS receiver how far away the satellites are and with some distance measurements, the receiver can now locate the user's position. The results have been proved extremely precise. GPS technology improved navigational accuracy in various circumstances in our ordinary lives. A study showed that GPS can affect the society in both positive and negative ways. It has boosted economic growth or increased public safety as well as increasing high-tech criminal activities. Now, that sounds scary, isn't it? To guarantee that the timing and navigation process is accurate, each satellite is installed with an atomic clock that is accurate to a billion of a seconds. Imagine in timekeeping situations where everything needs to be synchronized perfectly, the satellite clock has been used in stock market. Imagine if the satellite clock's accuracy is getting lesser. In just a fraction of a second, someone else will get to claim ownership of a multi-million dollar company which was previously owned by another person. And do you know, in stock market world, people may kill themselves just because they lost their money in the stock market. It is unbelievable how the inaccuracy in the satellite communication system can lead to someone's death. Satellite has made huge impact in our society. It has changed the way people communicate and live. As the saying goes, a new technology does not add or subtract something. It changes everything, everything in your whole life. It is extremely interesting getting involved and immense ourselves in this kind of knowledge. Do you know that there are only a handful of experts in the field of satellite communication system in Malaysia? In our lovely country Malaysia, we need experts to fully understand the ionospheric scintillation within our region to maintain the best satellite communication system. Not many researchers have been done to develop an ample way to mitigate the effect of ionospheric scintillation because you are not here with us. The field of satellite communication system is very appealing. I'm sure you already feel tempted to explore this kind of knowledge. Come and join us in Polytechnic Melimau as we will develop your way to become one of the satellite experts in Malaysia. As one of the pioneers in technical vocational education and training in Malaysia, we welcome you with warm greet and love. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit the like button somewhere down there, leave any comments or suggestion for sharing, ask all your friends to join you watching this video and don't forget to ask them to like us as well. Don't forget to visit www.pmm.edu.my for more info. Can't wait to see you. Thank you so much for watching. Till then, see you next time. Bye.